Newly commissioned hydroponic greenhouse technology is poised to revolutionize farming, modernize agricultural practices, and enhance food security in St. Lucia. The infrastructure, gifted by the Guyanese government to St. Lucia's Ministry of Agriculture, was officially inaugurated last week at a ceremony in Union Castries. The farm's team is currently focused on leafy vegetables, with plans to expand into strawberry cultivation in the future. The hydroponic system facility is the first intervention under this vision. Strategic focus will be placed on the orchid gardens, which is to my left, and the aquaculture facilities, which is to your back, here at Union. This facility, to my left, consists of two hydroponic shade houses, each measuring 9.6 by 36 meters, capable of producing over 3,000 plants. The focus right now is on leafy vegetables, but we are also looking at other high-value commodities, such as strawberries in the near future. Earlier this year, Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre committed to allocating $800,000 for the procurement and installation of hydroponic systems in agricultural regions across the island. The Prime Minister consistently emphasizes the importance of collaboration and unity to improve the lives of residents. But what is important that shows the value of collaboration and the value of how we can work together to get things done. And it also shows the value of the OECS and the value of CARICOM. Shows the value of the OECS, the value of CARICOM. So as a region, we have to understand that we have to do it together. We have to work together, each one, teach one, and do it together. Agriculture Minister Alfred Prosper underscored the significance of developing innovative measures like this farm to build resilience to climate change, thereby ensuring the survival of the farming sector. In the 60s and 70s, that name was not anywhere in the sector. But we know it is a reality now, and it is our job and responsibility to continue to build resilience in the sector to minimize the impact that any climate change or natural disaster will have on the sector. And this facility today is a typical example and a step in the right direction for us to go. The innovative agricultural facilities hydroponics system both surveillance cameras for security and remote training capabilities, alongside a fully digitalized monitoring system. The facility also prioritizes youth empowerment with support from the Agriculture Ministry's Engineering Division and interns from the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.